Hello. Glad to see you can join me again for um, another edition of Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood, I mean Mr. Bradley's studio. So um, we are going to cover some other things uh, this uh, this time around. Uh, last time uh, we played through Baby Shark Pizzicato. We're going to do that with Arco this time. And we're also going to work on the Imperial theme part of Star Wars, Stage 2. It's the new part that's added to, uh, to the Stage 2 Star Wars. We're also going to work on uh, the shave and a haircut part, the tag to uh, Violin Cabbage Down. And um, so that's mainly what we're going to work on in this video. I hope you're looking at the other videos that were made by by Emily and Laura Lee. There's a lot of really good things you can get from there going through the um, through our books, our Essential Elements books. And uh, also last time I had mentioned that we were going to uh, work on tuning. I'm going to have that in separate videos. Uh, it's different tuning a bass than it is tuning a cello or a violin. So we're going to have that in separate videos. Look for those if you're uh, needing help tuning your instrument. Okay, and as always, we're going to start with some scales to warm up. Let's try, for today, let's try whole notes. Now, if you remember, whole notes have four beats. So, each of our notes that we play on our D major scale, going down and then up again, is going to have four beats. So, here we go. Let's get in play position, make sure the thumb is curved on the bow. Violins and violas, the pinky is up on top of the stick there. There we go, um, and make sure with your with your left hand the wrist is straight. Make sure that you have your tickle space. Here we go. One, two, ready, go. Very nice. Now let's try the I Love to Tango rhythm with our D scale. Just like before, we start at the top, go down, and go back up. Here we go. Good position. Bow on the string about halfway between the, the bridge and the fingerboard. One, two, ready, go. Very nice. And now we're going to do that same uh, I Love to Tango rhythm in a round. And just like before, we will need the assistance of Mini Me. So thank you for joining us again, Mini Me. And uh, let's go ahead and try this. Just like before, Mini Me will start us out. And then you go ahead and follow along with me. So here we go. Are we ready? Ready, Mini Me? Okay, here we go. One, two, ready, go. Very nice. Thank you again, Mini Me. Okay, we're going to play Baby Shark now. And I'm going to show Baby Shark on several different instruments. 
So if even if I'm not playing your instrument, go ahead and play your instrument along along with me. So I'm going to first do this on the violin. The notes are D, E, G, and then F sharp at the end. You can download the the notes to this on off the Google Drive uh, if you haven't already. So or you might know it by memory since there's only only four notes in the piece D E G and F sharp here we go ready go very nice so cellos make sure that you're Fingers are curved like this. The thumb is under the second finger. Grapefruit, ha grapefruit hand, like you're holding a grapefruit, and um, the bow is about halfway between the fingerboard and the bridge. Not diagonal like this, but uh, nice and straight, like a T-shaped or an L shape. So here we go. Starts with a D, E. Ready, go. D, E. Okay, bass players, once again, before you start, make sure you have a really good position. Your bass should be uh, resting against your, your body or your leg so that it's it's, uh, if you take your hands off of it, it's not gonna, gonna fall over um, one way or the other. That means if it's, if it's tending to fall, that means you're not really balancing the right way. You should be able to kind of balance it against your body, your leg, and then move your, put your hands up like this. I'm king of the world, <laughs> like, like that. So here we go, let's go ahead and give Baby Shark a try. So here we go, just like with the uh, the cellos you probably saw in the video, you hold your hand kind of like a like you're holding a grapefruit. The thumb is off of the second finger. You have your tickle space under your arm. Here we go. Ready, go. And after going through that series of notes, then at the very end we change it just slightly so that the last three notes, instead of G, G, F sharp, we turn it around and do F sharp, F sharp, G, and then we're, we're done at that point. So I will play now on the viola the last time that we do this. So here we go. Uh, everybody, all the instruments can play along with this. This time we're, we're going to play those same notes except ending with F sharp, F sharp, G. Ready, go. Very good. So next we're going to speed it up a little bit, play it a little bit faster, and this time we're going to play it four times through, and then one additional time with the ending F sharp, F sharp, G. Okay, we're going to play through Baby Shark again, and this time we're going to play through it with an accompaniment track, and it'll be about medium fast speed for us. So here we go.
Okay, the next song we're going to work on is Star Wars Stage 2. So go ahead and get your music set up for that. If you don't yet have Star Wars Stage 2, it's available on the Google Drive. So go ahead and pause the video and download that. And once you have uh, that music in front of you, we, we can uh, continue. So the part we're going to look at today is uh, measures 26 through 29. This is kind of the new music that's added to the Stage 1 Star Wars that now makes it the Stage 2 Star Wars. And this is, uh, this part of the music is also known as the Imperial Theme. And because the notes in this section are pretty tricky, in fact there may be some notes you haven't played before in this section, uh, we're going to look at this section uh, very slowly and note by note, section by section, one measure at a time, and, and then we will look at it um, all, all playing all four measures. Uh, at the end of this uh, practice session. So the, basically the notes that we're going to, to be looking at and we're going to review over the notes first before playing through that passage. Um, the, the notes are for the, the violin, viola, and cello, it's open G. And then there is for the violin and viola, second finger on your tape, on the G string, that's B. Yeah, that's better in tune. Here's G and B. The next note for the viola is B flat, or for the violin as well, it's, it's low second finger on the G string. So in between your first and second finger tape is where you will put your second finger. I don't have tapes on here, so you can't really see that. But second finger, we, what we call low second finger between the the second finger tape, which is B, and the first finger note, which would be A on the G string. And that note is B flat, low second finger B flat. Cellos, uh, your B on the G string will be three fingers, three fingers B on the, on the G, there's open G, and then your B flat will be two fingers on the G string. So basses, you'll notice that I didn't say open G for you because your low G will be played with two fingers on the E string, which of course is your lowest string. Two fingers on the E string is this. And basses, your B natural, or just plain old B, will be one finger on the A string. So that's B natural, or B for the bass. And the next note, is B flat, and for this you have to slide your first finger back between your first finger tape on the A string, and so that it goes back between the first finger tape and the nut of the, the instrument. Got a bit of a rattle there, but that's a B flat. So the three new notes for the bass for this piece are second finger G on the E string, first finger B on the A string, and low first finger B flat on the A string. Cellos, so your new notes for this piece will be G, open G, third finger B, and then second finger B flat. So violas, your new notes, I'll move in a little closer so you can, you might be able to see this a little bit better. Um, your new notes for this piece is open G, second finger B natural, or B, low second finger, moving your second finger close to the first finger, that's B flat. And violins, your new notes for this piece are open G, your lowest string, then second finger B natural, on the tape, but then you slide the second finger back to the first finger, close to the first finger, that's B flat. So G, B, and B flat. Okay, before we play through this whole passage starting at measure 26, I would like us to look at measure 27, and let's look at it really slowly. So measure 27, the first note is B, cellos, that's three fingers on the G string. Violins and violas, that's two fingers on the G string. Bass, that's one finger on the A string. Everybody play your B, here's B. OK, 
Okay, the next note is G for uh, basses, two fingers on the E string. Everybody else play open G. Okay, the next note is open D for everybody. Everybody plays open D. And we end with the same note we started with, which is B on the a string, one finger for the bass. So let's play that measure faster and in tempo, but still quite slow. One, two, ready, go. Okay, let's play that again with everybody. Ready? Go. Okay, and one last time with everybody. Just only measure 27. Ready, go. Okay, very good. And now we're going to move on and look at measure 29. But if you still feel like you need a little bit more work on measure 27, go ahead and back the video up and try that again and work on the notes in measure 27 again. You can always do that in these videos. In fact, I would encourage you to do that. If you come up to something that you think is kind of hard, just back up the video and try it again. And uh, the second time it'll be a little easier. The third time it'll be easier still. So let's look at measure 29. And if you take a look at it, you'll see that it's almost like measure 27. What's the difference? The difference is the first note, instead of being B, it's B flat. Other than that, the next three notes are the same as in measure 27. So I'm going to play this on the bass, starts on B flat, measure 29. Here it is on the cello. Why don't you go ahead and play it with me? Here we go, we're playing measure 29. Ready? Go. Okay, one more time on measure 29, starting on B flat. Everybody play it. All the instruments play. Ready? Go. Okay, very good. Let's try it through the whole passage from measure 26. Here we go. Starts on second finger B natural for the violas and violins, third finger on the G string for the cellos, and one finger on the A for the basses. Here we go. One, two, ready, go. And this section does repeat, so let's play it one more time for good measure. Here we go. Measure 26 again. Ready, go. play it just one more time there. Measure 26 again. And here we go. One, two, ready, go. Very good. And we will work more on that next time, but that's our introduction to the Stage 2 Star Wars. The rest of the piece is mostly the same as the Stage 1 Star Wars. You've probably already noticed that. Okay, so before moving on to the, the last piece we're going to work on in this video, I just want to 
want to once one more time say that uh, when the music that we're working on is kind of hard like what we were just working on with the Star Wars stage 2 uh, it's fine and we definitely encourage you to go back and review over the video more than once so you can really get the notes figured out and get comfortable playing the notes because next time we play it next time you see it in the video it'll probably be faster <laughs> so so let's move on the next thing we're going to work on is just that short little tag at the end of Bilem Cabbage Down. So Bilem Cabbage Down is in your Essential Elements book. It's on page 24 and it's number 89. But the tag is not in there. So the tag that we like to play is, starts on high D. So um, the, the last note in, in the book song, uh, Bilem Cabbage Down, is open D. But then you go to high D, cellos, that's four fingers on the A string. And I'll just play the whole thing for you so you can see it. D. Stop. Like that. Violins and violas, it starts three fingers on the A string. It's D. Stop. Basses, you go to high D. In third position on the G string, fourth finger, this is your high D, shift back to first finger A, fourth finger B, first finger A, shift again to third position, second finger C sharp, fourth finger D. Now if I speed that up, it's like this. Here's your tag a little bit faster. I don't know if you can hear that stomp very well. I'm stomping on a carpeted floor. It sounds better if, you, if it's not carpeted. And violins and violas, here's your tag a little bit faster. One, two, ready, go. Okay, that's all for today, and I hope you've enjoyed playing and learning a few new things. And until next time, keep playing your instrument.